pediatrics history taking. Key features. The child's age will determine the way history taking and examination is conducted and also it will determine the management plan. The nature of the problem. If the kid is acutely ill, you must, the history taking must be focused and concise. Whereas if the kid is presenting with a developmental assessment, detailed ev evaluation should be taken. Observation. You should observe the appearance, the behavior and play of the child and also the gait. Nomenclature based on age. Neonates are less than 4 weeks, infants less than 1 year, toddlers 1 to 2 years, preschool a young child 2 to 5 years, school age older children, and then there's teenagers or adolescents. History taking consists of the introduction, presenting complaint, general inquiry, systems review, past medical history, medication, family history, social history, and development. In introduction, before you see the patient, you should read the referral letter and understand why they are coming here. Uh, Know the child by name and gender, that way you'll build a better rapport with both the parent and the child. The parent will feel that you care about the child more and that, that way they feel more uh, secure. Uh, you should introduce yourself and then determine the relationship of the adult to the child. Sometimes the adult that comes with the child might not be their parents, it might be their aunties or uncles or elder sister or the brother so on. Presenting complaint. I adapted this from another doctor who taught me uh, in ONG. Uh, why are they here? Although you might have already read it in the referral letter, it's still good to ask an open question to reconfirm why they are here and the onset and progression of it. When did it start? And how did it progress? Did it get better? Did it get worse? Were there any previous episodes before this? Is there anything that makes it feel better or makes it feel worse? For example, if you got a headache, does sleeping make it better? Um, were there any other associated symptoms along with it? You have to ask close questions, not just ask them op an open question like, are there any associated symptoms? But as uh, you know more about the particular complaint, you will know what associated symptoms you ask. For example, in headaches, you ask about no, uh, nausea. You want to associate, if it's associated with nausea, it might be migraine, etc. What was done? Did they go to see the doctor? Did they go to the pharmacist to get some medications? And how is he or she now? Did the medications help? Is the headache less now? General inquiry. Because you ask about the general health, how active is the child at home? This can tell you a lot. When was the last time he was his normal self? This can tell, uh, tell you the onset. It might be much earlier than they have, might have thought. Normal growth is the child following their height and weight centiles. They might, if they are lower than their height and weight centiles, they might be malnourished, malnutrition. So ask about their appetite and drinking, are they eating or drinking well, any re recent changes in behavior. Next we go to systems review. You can go through everything just briefly or you can go through the relevant ones once you have more knowledge of it. I arranged it so it's top to bottom, general first, then start with the brain, neural. Then you ask about the development, you ask about the vision, are there any hearing problems, do you have any seizures or headaches. Ear, nose and throat, ask about ear aches, throat infections snoring or strider, 
respiratory system asks about cough, wheeze, breathing problems, cardiovascular asks about any cyanosis, means the, the child is turning blue, exercise tolerance, faints, this might uh, indicate any heart defects, like tetralogy of phthalate. GI, gastrointestinal, uh, did they experience any vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, genital urinary, what's the urinary frequency, is there any pain on urination, that means dysuria, and is, did he wet the bed, pubertal development, and also musculoskeletal. That's how how are they walking? Uh, is there any limb pain or swelling? Next, we go to past medical history, and this best approach in a chronological order. First, the maternal obstetric problems. Um, okay, so during pregnancy, the antenatal scans. For example, for Down syndrome, you have the combined test, you have the triple or quadruple test for Down syndrome. Were the test results normal? Screening bloods, uh, routine screening bloods will include uh, hepatitis B, HIV, syphilis, and maybe rubella in some countries. Um, and see if there were any of these infections throughout pregnancy um, and any complications during the delivery. Did the mother lose too much blood? Or did, the, did they require any instrumental delivery? Were there any injuries due to the instrumental delivery? And then you go to birth weight and gestation. Uh, normal birth weight will be from 2.5 kgs to 4.5 kgs. Uh, gestation are they preterm, which is less than 37 weeks. Then ask about perinatal problems after the baby is born. Was there any problems after that? If the mother has diabetes, gestational diabetes, the baby might be born with hypoglycemia. Were there any jaundice? Any admissions due to that? NIC is, is NICU stands for Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. Oh, you can ask the neonatal ward admission. Um, ask about immunizations after that. Uh, were there? Did they take all their immunizations? Might have been a preventable disease. So take your vaccines, please. Past hospital admissions after that. Next is F MFS. M stands for medical as me medication history. F stands for family history. And S stands for social history. Um, this will be like all other history takings. Um, medication history asks about the present and past medications and any drug allergies. Family history asks for a family with similar conditions, it might be a genetic disease. Social history, uh, this is to try to understand the social circumstances of the child, who the child lives with, who takes care of the child. Um, anyone in the family smokes, this might cause any respiratory problems to the child, drinks or do drugs. This might show that they do not have a stable, uh, comfortable home environment. Uh, finance, as what the parents do for a living. Are they financially stable? Can they provide the meals for the child? Uh, inability to do so may cause malnutrition and underdevelopment of the child. The child's preferred play or leisure activities. Uh, if the child prefers to play alone, it uh, might be um, autism or something like that. How has that illness affected him? And the last one is development. Uh, mother knows best, so ask the mother 
Um, if there's anything that she noticed that concerns her, uh, and you, um, I've arranged this from head to toe again, so from the brain development, uh, you can you can assess this by development milestones. What age they started walking or talking? Uh, how's the progress at school? Uh, and then you go to any visual problems, any hearing problems, and then any bladder or bowel control problems in the, especially in the young child, and then um, any TBS temperament behavior sleeping problems. Okay, that's all I have for you. This is a summary. So history taking includes introductions. Then pr uh, introduce yourself, know who is the uh, competing adult, know the child by name and gender. They go, that way you'll build better report. Presenting complaint and its history. Why are they here? What's the progression? What was done and how are they now? General inquiry, ask about any changes in behavior, yeah, systems review ask about uh, each of the different systems. If you know the presenting complaint better, you, uh, you don't have to ask everything. You can just focus on a few systems that are relevant. But if not, just go through everything briefly. Past medical history uh, in chronological order from antenatal to intrapartum to postpartum. Uh, any problems with the delivery, any problems with the baby after delivery and then the immunizations and uh, any hospital admissions thereafter. Then you go to MFS, history, medication, family, social history and then lastly development. Thank you.